Hi guys, it's Christine with Christie's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Virgo. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So Virgo, please, can we get some cards for Virgo on this full moon tonight? Let's see. Adjustments are required. Expect powerful change. Wow. So we have a third quarter moon and new moon eclipse. And I believe that new moon eclipse is either tonight or on the 25th. I just know that it is in October. Conclusions are within reach. So maybe there's something that you weren't sure about that you're going to find the answer to. Let's see. Show the world the real you. So don't be afraid of who you are. Be true to yourself and be authentic. Full moon in Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. Full moon in Aries. Maybe you have Aries in your chart. A fiery climax approaches. Whoa. Ha -ta. <laughs> it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So there's something that's going to happen where you're going to have to take action on this. Um, your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So something shifting here that is going to really change and shake shit up for you, <laughs> to put it bluntly. <laughs> we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. So maybe by February, you might meet somebody between now and then. Let's see, let's see what your tarot says for you. You might have to end something, a conclusion of some sort, where an adjustment is required. Maybe you have to leave somebody behind. Let's see, for Virgo, please, for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Ooh, let's see. We have, ooh, yeah, some shady behavior. Maybe that you're leaving this person behind. Yeah, there's some heartbreak here. Somebody broke your heart recently or in the past. Yeah, it has to do with love. Maybe you love this person a lot. They may have been your wish fulfillment here or you thought they were. But you're good all on your own. I feel like this is in the past. This is something that's happened in the past. And maybe you're wanting love. I don't see any healing here though. So it's important to heal before you move into a new situation. Yeah, you're looking for long term. Something long term. Maybe you have some financial uh, opportunity here that's growing for you, for your money situation. You're at a crossroads though, I'm not sure which way to go. You want to take a new leap of faith towards something though. What is this? Now you're already self-sufficient and independent. Right where you want to be, you might be just looking for that last cup. Let's see, what do I want to ask? What's the Two of Swords? Why is that here? What's the crossroads here for this fool? What is the crossroads? Ah, uh, this might be having to do with the King of Swords here. You're not sure about this person. Yeah, Tower, something really shakes shit up. There's a big change here. You're a wounded warrior and you haven't had time to um, heal. Yeah, you don't trust it. There's a death to that situation here. What is the fool? Yeah, there might be somebody that's right in front of you that you're just not seeing, or maybe that you need to heal, and that might be what you're not seeing here. Yeah, you might have a lot of options. A lot of people want to um, get together with you. You have that option to take that leap of faith with pretty much whoever you want. Okay, Virgo, so <clears throat> just choose wisely is the Seven of Cups for me. I Just be careful on who you're choosing. Use your intuition. 
somebody might be watching you actually that is interested in you maybe you get some communication from this person maybe you have an idea or some knowledge about something here what is this nine of cups yeah there is an offer here that is going to come in for you what do we have here yeah you're worried about being juggled here this might have been something that happened in your past with this shady behavior with the seven of swords yeah somebody left you out in the cold maybe they came in for a good time not a long time and then ghosted you or left again there's a king of wands here showing up so this might have been somebody that did this to you in the past or this is somebody new coming in however the king of wands is a bit of a player or is known to be a player they're very good looking they can probably have anybody but this person's meant to help heal you i feel with the hermit here yeah you're gonna have to be strong and brave about getting together with this king of wands because they're gonna help heal you i feel they may have gone through something similar in their past there is also a king of pentacles here or he's showing up as very stable grounded earth sign um, might have capricorn in his chart you might see them as a burden here um, there might even be two people here one is a burden and one is going to help you heal yeah it is the same person but you you're going to have to um, look at things differently because you're going to see them as a burden but they're here to help you heal these things that you feel okay they're going to make you happy in the end but you got to trust it they may have had the same thing happen to them if they did it to someone that is sometimes their karma it happens right back what comes around goes right back around okay so what's the ten of cups yeah you're very guarded <laughs> you might not trust it you're looking for truth and you're like okay come on tell me the truth <laughs> you may have a hard time believing this person but they're here to heal with you i feel they're both you're both here and you're both healing so i kind of feel like they want to take care of you they want to help you and they know you've been hurt okay yeah you're still in your head about this yeah they don't want you to walk away this might be your dharma the the balance of the scales is happening here when you get to this person there's marriage involved here celebration and you're gonna let this go you're gonna let go of old beliefs old values and old things that don't serve you any longer you might end up working together with this person and your your intuition is going to kick in you might get some blessings from spirit where uh, perhaps you're going to get that gift from spirit to see yeah there's going to be a proposal here with a big offer here they see you as very beautiful there's equal give and take here you may have even manifested each other and you're gonna move in together they are the Emperor and I feel like after this little learning and healing you will become the Empress so things will work out in your favor um, there's some adjustments and things that have to happen here uh, but by bringing love into the situation things are going to work out in your favor Virgo I'm really liking this for you <laughs> let's get a few more things for you here some messages what other messages do we have for Virgo wow trick or treating so we are here so it looks like you may end up meeting this person fairly quickly um maybe in the next five days here 
maybe by uh, Halloween. So, wow. Let's see. Amara the Mayhoon. Aloha healing here. So maybe you end up going for a trip to Hawaii. Maybe you are um, have Hawaiian descent or um, have that in your uh, heritage or your, uh, it, um, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not coming out. We have the sewer mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful. So this person really sees you as very sexy, sensual, and uh, they, they're they really into you, um, heart and soul, okay? And then we have the Lantern Fairy, a clear solution, and you're going to see this solution when you start to heal. I feel like once you take that leap of faith, you are going to realize that neither one of you uh, wants to have anyone else okay it's going to be something that you both trust with each other because you've both been there before and once you um let this person in and bring that love into the situation things are really going to go quickly for you when it comes to marriage and moving in together and yeah maybe even children so if you don't already have children so all right so i'm gonna roll the dice anyways and see what comes up we already know it's probably going to meet this person fairly quickly by um halloween ish so we have four so you could meet them in the next four days four weeks um which would be close to halloween well just after Halloween so it might be in four days between four days and the next couple weeks for uh, I want to say in the next nine days because I got four and five here so maybe in the next nine days you will meet this person they have Gem Gemini in their um, chart or you do Taurus Cancer Taurus again, so maybe you both have it. There's Capricorn and Aries here, Aquarius as well. So those might be some of the signs you have in your birth chart or they do, or it's a combination of you both. So in any case, I'm gonna leave it there for you. Virgo, I really like your reading. Uh, you have some hurdles to get over, but you are going to be authentic. You're gonna show the world the real you and you're not going to be afraid to do it. Once you bring that love into the situation, all the things are going to work out for you. All right. So stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right. Later.